Hey guys, it's Ethan Halfide here today, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the menstrual cycle. Initially, I thought it would be pretty weird for my older female clients, not older, but older than me, uh, female clients, to hear about the menstrual cycle and how it affects their body from a 25-year-old male, but actually it was the complete opposite. They were very appreciative that I took the time to learn. Uh, I've seen a lot of great videos from personal trainers. James Smith did a great video on this. I've read a lot of blogs. In order to basically make this video, I wanted to make sure I had everything correct. There's a lot of different variables. So uh, without further to do, let's get into it. So as men, we have it so easy. I mean, testosterone is our dominant sex hormone, right? That's the male dominant hormone. We have about 10 to 30 times the amount of testosterone as most women on average, right? Uh, the dominant hormones in females are actually progesterone and estrogen, as you can see right here. And depending on the time of the menstrual cycle, whether in your follicular or luteal phase, um, one of these two hormones dominates. And physiologically, it kind of makes you a different person. Really, you're going through different chemical reactions. And today, I just want to talk to you about how that affects you in the realm of fitness and weight loss. The first hormone that I want to dive deep into is estrogen. We have estrogen and progesterone, but estrogen is going to be your friend. Estrogen peaks within the follicular phase within the first 14 days, and it really does help you actually. It decreases appetite, uh, it improves insulin sensitivity, and estrogen is actually a precursor for testosterone. So if I were to draw a third line here for testosterone, you would see a small spike in testosterone. And that's why some women, um, remember everyone's different, but they may have their best workouts here. They may be crushing their workouts, uh, crushing their, their nutrition goals as well because they don't need as many calories. They feel like they're, you know, they're ready to move and they don't need to um, consume as many calories as you would think. So they're also not as prone to muscle soreness within this phase as well. So after ovulation, then comes the spike in progesterone. And this one basically has the opposite effects of estrogen. You're gonna have increased appetite. You're gonna be craving a lot of carbs here. This is when you're craving those um, sugary treats. It's not just in your head, it's basically, it's a hormonal thing as well. And this is when you're at your highest risk for injury. You have to watch the joint laxity is basically a lot of like, uh, let's say flexibility within the joints and not necessarily good flexibility, uh, looseness, right? You have to watch out for prolonged muscle soreness and decreased insulin sensitivity. And there's a lot of different factors that go into, this is in the luteal phase, by the way. It, it's so different for an every client. Sometimes, you know, clients are really thriving in this estrogen um, phase, uh, estrogen, estrogen dense phase. And then, you know, they're really suffering during these phases. Sometimes they can't even come in to work out. You know, they, they know that they're just hurting. They feel like they're not even getting a good workout in. It's not a good time to start a diet right here either because they're gonna start the diet off on a, a bad note if there's someone very susceptible to the effects of these hormones. But, you know, sometimes you don't really see much of a, a change throughout the entire 28 day cycle. But now I have clients that'll, you know, if they are very susceptible to the effects of these hormones, they'll come in and they're like, Ethan, it's that time of the month, you know, like I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm hurting. So, you know, every woman is different, but it should be considered like, when do you want to begin a diet? Should you be more open and keep an open diet like with your trainer about this? I think so, because if you're going to start a diet in this time, may not see the results, you're very susceptible to relapse. You probably don't want to start a program around there. You probably want to start it around here and really kickstart your results. That's just a, a brief touch on it. I don't think I need to go too in depth in this. If you guys have any questions about insulin sensitivity, about your effects, specific effects, maybe, like I said, everyone's unique. They may have different conditions that I didn't cover today. Um, leave it in the comments below. I'd be happy to help you out. Thank you.